All right, time for the model review. I've got shoes now. That's right, it's a full body model. I've got shoes. <laughs> yeah, I've got shoes and pants now. It's crazy. Got a cool new jacket. There's the straps. Straps are very important. Yeah, straps are very important. It's a little bit of a fancier jacket too, right? And check out the shirt too. I've got I've got a fancy new shirt now. <laughs> Who the movie bits? Yeah. Of course I have to keep those, right? The movie bits were always there. They were on my old model too. Also, hi. Hi, chat. Hello. I have vowel animations. Yes. I have lip sync now. Hi, chat. Yeah, I'm very happy how this turned out, the detail-wise, uh, all the other stuff. My hair looks way better. <laughs> my hair was kind of jank on my old model, to be honest. Right. So yeah, this is the new me. Uh, I'm all fancy. <laughs> yeah. So, this is the model in full. Pretty fancy, pretty fancy. We want to see what else I can do now with this, though? Because I've got a, I've got other cool stuff I can do. My hood's removable now. I can take my hood off. So on my old model, uh, the hood was uh, permanently on. I wanted to challenge myself and like really properly rig hair and stuff, like really go into detail with it. And so yeah, now you can see my hair in full. How come your hood years to the hood years are gone, sus? We'll get to that. Don't worry, there is an explanation. I've got a few more things I can show you. This is how I'm feeling right now. Expressions. I have star eyes now. Emotes. Yes. That's one of them. And then I have this other one. This is when I'm disappointed in you, chat. Or if I'm disappointed in myself. I can actually do my pain emote now. <laughs> I can use them in combination. Like so. They all work together. They have physics on them too, as you can see. Do you want me to turn this on? Alright. Here I go, chat. <laughs> I have a cool digital mask. Oh, so. So the years are now, the years are now up, right? The years are tech all along, yes. And I can wiggle them. When they're in the stored position, uh, regular physics applies to them. And uh, when the mass is active and the years are active, uh, they're manually controlled. So I can move them around as and when I want. Yeah, it's a digital mask. So that means more toggles. I've got others too. I've got, I've got this one. And uh, I have one more. Because I also need to express pain with this model. With the mask. I'm mad, chat. I'm mad at you. So the cool thing is, the mask is compatible with the hood. Everything can be, everything works together. I can have the I can have the mask and the hood on at the same time. And it looks like this. I think it turned out pretty well. What do you guys think? Uh, so yeah, this is the name of the model. It's the revision model. Because, uh, you know, A, it's, it's a revision. It's more or less like got the aesthetics of the old design. I didn't deviate too much from it, but I made it fancier. The mask part accounts for the vision part. So that's the idea behind the name. These are the initial concept sketches that I did when I was messing around with it. I didn't do too many because, like, when you're making a model for yourself, you usually have a good idea of what you already want. And yeah, just like, you know, with the hood down, the hood up, the mask, trying to figure out how best to do it. Uh, yeah, so that's the final design that we went with. Still more or less the same color scheme, pretty simple. There's this little floating uh, mask unit on the back. That's where the mask is contained and the ears are floating from behind there. So when it's deactivated, they're just floating there. But when you activate the mask, it goes down this way and the mask deploys. And uh, why I included it? Because it looks cool. I just wanted to do something special with it, you know? Experiment with what I can do creatively with Life2D. The old model was 1500 by 1500. This new model 
is 4242 by 6000. That's how big the canvas is. This is it to scale. This is my old model in full and my new model in full to scale. This is what it looks like. <laughs> That's a huge jump in resolution and stuff in detail. I'll zoom in a bit, you can see. There's a lot of detail. I can zoom in pretty close. I can zoom in pretty close and it still looks alright. Hi chat, I'm very close up to you right now. I... Uh... The way I did my eye rigging is uh, when I go wide eyed, then the pupil contracts. So. Yeah, so that's actually that's actually a thing that just happens normally. And uh, yeah, the commemorative art. I posted this up on my Twitter as a teaser. You can see from humble beginnings. I think this still. It's still a simple model that doesn't really go too fancy just yet in terms of design, but it's the way I like it, and since, you know, it's a representation of myself, I'm very happy about this turned out. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so this is the game screen. Uh, when, when we're doing gaming uh, and stuff, this, this, is what the, this is what the stream will look like. There's actually a lot of small, little touches that I put in here to make it feel a little more alive. And th those are like live 2D techniques that I learned, which is uh, some really cool stuff. Whenever I do any eye movement, there is a very subtle amount of bounce to it. I think you can pick it out, like here. And I, uh, uh, yeah, something like that. There's a very subtle movement to it. So that's what makes the eye feel a lot more alive, yeah. You can see the very slight bounce there. That's one of the small details, yeah. There's a little physics uh, deformer for the, for the entire body. So whenever I make like big body movements, my body actually takes a second to like bounce into position. Makes it feel a lot less stiff, you know, like when I'm moving around like this, it feels more natural and it's just, it's just a small touch there, but that's how you do it. So yeah, that's how that works. Man, <laughs> when, when the lip sync works, it's, it's not 100% accurate, but it's pretty darn close, isn't it? It's kinda cool. And hair, yeah, hair is the other big improvement. Like, you can see. 9 or 10 separate pieces to get hair that looks this smooth. And this is actually on the lower end. Tilting my hair back and forward, yeah. I can go left and right. I can go up and down. And I can go side to side. X, Y, and Z. There's a lot. Let me tell you, chat, if you're getting into Life 2D, do not start with adding hoods to your models because you will be in a world of pain. Do you know how hard it is to get a hood to deform naturally? The hood is front layers in front of the face and back layers behind the face. Combining both and then making them deform in a way that doesn't desync them or like leave gaps and stuff. It's super hard, let me tell you that. Like you can see, like just right here, the basic hood that I did on that old model literally consisted of front piece, which you can see, like it's literally the, the part above my head and the rim going down to where the collarbone is, that's one part, and then the back of the hood is the second part. And that has to deform along with the head so that it doesn't like uh, exceed where the head is. The hood was basically really really jank. This hood actually consists of like three parts now. So there's the front rim. The front rim is one part, the hood on top of it is a second part, and the back of the hood is a third part. So this thing deforms as my head turns. So every angle that I turn my head, I had to go in there and very carefully rake how it is so that my head doesn't like clip through the hood. Because by default the hood the, the head tends to clip through the hood. So I had to adjust it. But I was very thorough, and no matter which way I look now, the hood deforms naturally, together with my head. And it even like droops a little bit too when I tilt down hard enough. But it's all worth it because it's me. I like my hoods. Of course I need a hood in my model. Hoodies are comfy and easy to wear. I gotta, I gotta have one. Uh, yeah, once again, thank you, sincerely, sincerely, thank you everybody for showing up. I'm glad I got to show this off to you guys, and uh, yeah, um, 
Hope you enjoyed the show. It's been one year since I became a VTuber and it's honestly been one of the best things to happen to me in terms of like, even just like, I, I know it sounds a bit extra, but in terms of like self growth and stuff, this has really been a big life changer for me. So yeah, it means a lot to me. And it means a lot to me that you guys are here too to watch me do it. It wouldn't be the same without uh, without people to share the experience with, you know? So yeah, 